بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کانٹرنگ دی لیکچر نمبر فائیو آن جنرل ٹاکسیکالوجی اینڈ دس لیکچر ایل بی ڈسکسنگ ایلیمینیشن آف پوائزنس فرام دی باڈی اینڈ دیٹ مینس واٹ آر ویریس روٹس آف ایلیمینیشن آف پوائزنس اینڈ دے آر بیسیکلی ول بی ڈسکسنگ روٹس اور ایلیمینیشن بفور ایبزارپشن آفٹر ایبزارپشن and then finally excretion and sometimes they are chronically deposited so these are various uh, routes of elimination or fate of the poisons within the body so starting with the topic of elimination of poisons in the body also called as the fate of poisons in the body or metabolism of poisons in the body basically uh, poisons after entering into the body they will show their actions according to their mechanism of actions and they are sometimes the local actions sometimes they are having remote actions and sometimes generalized systemic actions and after uh, performing their actions they undergo the process of metabolism and elimination from the body and this process of elimination undergoes through various routes when we talk about before absorption then we'll discuss after absorption then excretion and chronic deposition as i have told you before absorption the poisons when they enter into the body it can exert local actions and usually they are the irritants and the corrosives corrosives they corrodes the tissues they ulcerates the tissues in which they comes in contact they ca- because they are strong irritants similarly the irritants mild irritants they show erythema and they can go up to various other uh, symptoms and they act locally on the site where they come in contact and then it can induce vomiting due to irritation and the poison which has been ingested into the stomach it can be vomited out and the rest of the absorption uh, rest of the poison which remains within the body will be absorbed into general circ- circulation from the stomach then what happens after absorption the poison may undergo various changes sometimes the body may fail to change its chemical composition and it is detected in the body tissues as such in its original form that means the composition the chemical composition of the poison isn't changed within the body and it remains as such as it is swallowed or as it is introduced sometimes the poison may undergo biotransformation that means it changed its forms and this happens usually in the liver where the metabolites or the metabolic actions alter alters or change the formation of various uh, poisons into other metabolites and sometime in the blood blood the poison and its metabolites act on the target organs that means the when the poisons has been uh, changed it or transformed into various other metabolites which enters into the blood and then these metabolites or the changed forms of poison they act on the target uh, organs for which they have specific affinity then they are excreted out of the body the main organs and route of excretion of the poisons they are usually they are excreted through the urinary tract the intestines the stools the bile the sweat glands saliva breast milk and the lungs so these are various routes of excretion that when after performing the action of the poison it gets 
eliminated from the body through these roots. And sometimes the poison is uh, chronically deposited because there are certain poisons which get deposited into the bones, the hair or any other areas of the viscera and they are deposited there. And they are usually the inorganic, especially the metallic poisons. For example, if we talk about the arsenic, it is deposited in the epidermis, the nails, the hair and other metallic poisons like lead and radioactive metal, they are deposited in the bones for longer duration. So thank you very much. These are, uh, this uh, lecture was about the elimination of poison, what is the fate of poison within the body. So we will talk, we'll continue the topic in the next lecture.